Good morning, Choice Residential. Hey guys, I wanted to just show you a couple of quick scripts to help you with uh, pricing objections that you may be getting uh, from sellers. Um, so one of the most common objections we hear is that I need to net a certain dollar amount in order to either sell my house or in order to buy the next house. And so essentially the seller is trying to dictate what the listing price will be based on what they need or what they want to net out of the sale. So here are a couple of scripts to help you uh, overcome that. Script number one, it's telling them that real estate market is like the stock market. So here's how that script may go. Mr. Mrs. Seller, did you know that the real estate market is actually like the stock market? The sellers and agents are not the ones who are actually determining the price, it's the buyers that determine the price. For example, if your stock was trading at $100 per share a year ago when you purchased it, and today it's trading at $90 a share, then you would need to sell it at $90 a share today if you were going to sell. So this means you have two options with your home. You can either sell it at today's prices or you can wait until the market improves to get you the price that you're looking for. Which would you rather do? And so that forces them to look at this in a much more objective way and that the prices are what they are. It's not subjective to the point that we get to determine the price because that's what you want for it. So relate it to the stock market. Trip number two is reminding the sellers that their house has to actually qualify. So, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, did you know that when we sell your home, not only do we need to find a qualified buyer, but your home also has to actually qualify for the sale. <clears throat> Since most buyers are going to be getting financing to purchase your home, their lender is going to require an appraisal in order to confirm the value that the buyer is paying relative to the other homes in the area that are similar that have already sold. So even if we use my negotiating skills to get you a price of 275, if the appraisal only comes in at 250, then your buyer is either going to require that you lower the price to match that appraisal, or they're going to simply walk away from the sale because they don't want to overpay for the house. I use the same data to determine pricing that an appraiser does, and X number of dollars is the most likely value that's going to be derived from that appraisal. So are you willing to sell it today at today's market price? So that's a script again to just remind them that there is a science to this. Again, there is an objective way to determine the value of the home and that that objective value is gonna to come to light regardless of what a buyer is willing to pay because some buyers may be willing to overpay for a home depending on their motivations. Uh, but at the end of the day, that appraisal is going to have to support that purchase price. And better to know that upfront than to figure that out three weeks into the process. And script number three is discussing absorption rate. Here's a quick reminder of what absorption rate is. You simply take the number of homes that have sold over the last six months. Now, when I say the number of homes, that could be in a specific price point. That could be a specific neighborhood, zip code, city, whatever criteria you want to use to determine what's relative to the subject property we're discussing. You use that criteria and come up with the number of homes that have sold in the last six months and then divide that by six. So that's going to tell you how many homes are selling each month given that specific criteria you used. So then we take the number of homes that are currently on the market with that same criteria, and we divide that by the number of homes that are selling each month. That's the number you just calculated. And that's gonna tell us our number of months of inventory, which essentially would tell us how long is it gonna take for the market to absorb the number of homes that are on the market right now. So that's where the absorption rate comes from. So, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, there are currently four months of inventory, which means that only 25% of the homes that are on the market are going to sell each month. And since there are always new homes coming on the market each month, you need to actually be in the top 25% in terms of pricing, value, and condition compared to the other homes that are uh, for sale if you want to be one of the ones that sell this month. So, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, would you prefer to sell your home this month at the market price? or be part of the 75% that will still be listed next month. So again, you're getting them to think about the end game here, which is do they wanna sell their home or do they just wanna sit on the market and list their home? Remind them, you're an expert and you get paid to sell homes, not to list them. So hopefully one of these scripts will uh, help you out in uh, some pricing objections that you may get as you're out there meeting with sellers. If you have any other favorite scripts, feel free to uh, mention them below in the comments. We'd love to share them with all the other choice residential agents. All right, guys, take care. Have a great week and look forward to seeing you soon.